In a worship concert, a young lady heard the Lord tell her a word, and before that, she, He showed her a vision. And it was a, an angelic rider in the sky holding, she thought, a sword, but it was a paintbrush. And she said, I think He was, He wasn't riding in a circle, He was riding in a square. And we both said, South, East, North, and West. And the vision disappeared. And the Lord told her where the word will not be allowed unto darkness, the paintings will, and the glory of God will be released. Painters, come forth. And so I began, it just excited me so much. It's like, I've got to paint that. I don't know what to do with it. And as I shared it with the director of our prophetic school, he said, I want you to paint that as a mandate to the city. I said, no, it needs to go to the world, but we'll start with our region. And so it took me two hours during a worship night to paint this. But you'll notice that every color that's released is also a character of God. Every color in the rainbow goes back to the nature and character of God. It will always line up with Him. If it doesn't line up with Him, then you need to find out what you're listening to. So down here where all the colors have been released of, of courage and healing, of life, of the blood of Christ, it is now released over the city skyline, if you can see. I traced out my city skyline. There's victory, there's peace, there's redemption, there's joy and freedom. And where the rider hadn't come yet over the city, there was still worry and loneliness, bitterness, confusion, depression. And so I prayed that over that congregation. And the next day, I shared the painting with the young lady that had given me the word. And she said, I have one question. Did you put, paint the Lion of Judah in there, or did God do it? And I'm looking at the painting going, what Lion of Judah? And then I saw the muzzle and the forehead of the lion in front of the angelic rider. So God was doing the work. I simply held the paintbrush. Remember, art has a voice, and you are the message.